flip flop and you don't stop. I like shirts with puns. I know you do. I'm always looking for good ones for you. I ordered you the one with the dog that peeks up over the top, like, you know, see it, oh, smell it. Yes. Yes. I ordered that one for oh, you. Oh, that's cute. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome to day 39 of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. We are still in the keys, so we decided for the first two days, for the last two days, 37 and 38, we just rolled it into one vlog. This video, since it's Wednesday morning, we made it its own video because that'll go through the whole day because we are going home today, unfortunately. It makes me sad. Yesterday, I was watching um, the most recent video from Nisha Loves It. It was uh -huh. just a fall day. Yep. And the whole temperature of that video was just relaxing. Yeah. Like it was just slowing down and enjoying the season in, in the world. Just, right. I'm enjoying this season. And I found myself calming down as I watched it. Like I'm someone that says, let's take it slow. Let's enjoy the day and just how it unwinds, it unwinds. Right. And that video watching it made me feel like, do it, Right. do it. So I felt like yesterday I did things at a more of a grace of pa a pace of grace. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is that we are very much you know, the, the get up and go kind of people. And we're yeah. always on the go. We're always got something. If you haven't figured that out, I mean, every day we, we work like, you know, I don't know, a million jobs. <laughs> okay? I mean, seriously, no, we're always, always working. And one of the reasons that we do the camping, one of the reasons that we bought the RV last year was because we realized we never took time off. We never stopped, you know, slowed down, enjoyed each other as a couple. So we bought the RV and said, listen, now we've spent money on this thing. Now we need to it. use it. And so we made this commitment that we were going to go away every other weekend just for a couple of days. Now, the summer, we were doing a lot of traveling, so it kind of went off. Plus, it's really hot in Florida during the summer anyway. But we're back to this because we can't slow down at home. It's just something about our personalities. If we're home we're working because you're always looking around going, well, I need to do this and I need to do that. Like, I don't have time to slow down. Yeah. And so even when we do plan this, everything is planned. So yesterday was nice because it wasn't the plan. We just found the museum and yeah. went in it. The plan was get up, take the bicycle for a two minute ride for the review, maybe enjoy it a little bit later on. And the next thing you know, we're bike riding for like 18 miles and spending two hours walking around the nature preserve. Yeah. And it was good. I mean, I loved it, but it definitely wasn't the plan. I love that we can change the plan, but continue to forward our health goals. Because right. I feel like in the past, it was my plan was to do certain things properly, get movement in, eat right, all that kind of stuff. And then I would go off plan in the negative. Right. So we sort of went off plan in the positive. Right. And which I is not normal for us. I'll take it. So the plan for today is, uh, since it's Wednesday, we're going to do keto camping fear factor. I'm so excited about that. We're going to pack up the little bit of stuff that needs to be packed up, which it's not that big of a deal for us to pack up. I mean, we can pack everything up in, within 30 minutes. And the only reason it takes 30 minutes is because... Rachel wants to get the rig ready for the next trip. Yeah, I like to do that. And something amazing about the travel trailer versus when we had the pop-up, I loved our pop-up, but you had to clean everything good because if you were going to fold it back together, there was no negotiation. Like right. you couldn't even leave the blanket on top of the bed and it actually right. go together. So we spent a lot of time, I felt like cleaning up at the campsite 
but now with the travel trailer there's a lot more like okay throw the backpacks in the chairs and like you can get home with them yeah so uh we're gonna get everything packed up ready to go hook up the truck and then I think we're gonna go back out in the water for a while because right now it is like, as Steve calls, it's glass it's out glass there. It's glass out there. There's no ripples in the water. This is the perfect paddle boarding, but we gotta get our work done first. That's right. Okay, taking a minute for some breakfast. There's always time for breakfast. So we got three perfectly cooked eggs, three very dirty eggs over there. <laughs> and then we took, this was the last of the pork belly, put it on the Blackstone and just cook it until it's dead. <laughs> Rachel likes it really crispy. Mm. Mm. They're almost like fatty potatoes. They are like fatty potatoes. So if you look at it, it's like super crunchy on the outside, but then when you take a bite in the middle, there's a squirt of fat explosion in your mouth. I love that so much. So we're going to eat. Um, pretty much broken down. We need to film one more video. And then I'd like to get out on the water for a little while because we don't have to be out of here till one o'clock. And this is the one place where we stay to check out time. Normally, get up and go nine o'clock in the morning. But when we come to the Keys, we want to take as long as possible. Plus, you have to drive through Miami for rush hour. You and you definitely don't right. want to be driving at nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. You want to wait until like midday. But you can't leave too late because then you're stuck in the other traffic. It's like Capital Beltway. You have to time it just right if you're traveling and you know you're going to be going through that area. <laughs> What are you doing? I want to see if the fishies like hamburger. Ew. Don't don't torture them. I'm watching the fish eat the fear factor food that we put in <laughs> in the water. We've created sort of a uh, a little reef because now the bigger fish like sand perch and stuff are all coming in because none of the little babies died from what I threw in there. So yeah, now you've got big schools of fish coming in and eating. They don't let any food go to waste. So we just got into Key Largo and we stopped at a gas station, needed to fill up a gas, filled up my big mug. They have the special cook machines here. So they have the, aha. Aha. I like having that at different places. So I feel like I'm still treating myself on the road, but I'm not drinking soda. So I got that and I'm having a meat stick, which came from Costco. And talk about feeling fancy. Joe stopped and got me a, a Perrier with lemon, which I don't know. There's something <laughs> beautiful about drinking cold water out of a glass bottle. And it's got that little sparkle. So we're about uh, an hour and 20 minutes away from home. We're gonna go home. I have no idea what we're gonna cook to eat yet. Whatever I may find, it's a quick defrost. We may even do those frozen hamburger patties because they're like super, super quick and then Always have some eggs. Always a safe bet. So we're headed home and thanks to Teresa, we've got some go home riding snacks. So we've got this beef jerky, it's called Avalon Meat Candy. And uh, actually Bronson's the one who told me about it. He's like, you've got to try this stuff. And so Teresa sent us some. She's actually got like a little online store boutique. I'm gonna leave a link for it down below. Thanks, Teresa. Uh, but Bronson's like, if you like this, maybe we can do a big bulk order. So 
I'm excited about this because he said it's got really, really clean ingredients. And mm -hmm. when it comes to clean, I know Bronson's always looking for like oh, the yeah. cleanest possible. I trust him. So there's three flavors. There's a lemon pepper. There's Hank's Place. And there's Fiesta. So I don't know which one is which. I know Bronson said one is very mild, one is like average, and one is like kind of spicy. Blow your face off. We're gonna try all three of them. I'll let you go ahead and read the ingredients since okay. I'm okay. driving. Okay, so it's Hank's Place, and it says the ingredients are 100% Angus beef, aged cayenne, red pepper, distilled vinegar, salt, and garlic. Okay, so that's gonna be a hot one. What about this one? The lemon pepper has the beef, vinegar, water, pepper, lemon juice, garlic powder, natural smoke, and other spices. No sugar. No sugar. And then the last one, Fiesta, has uh, beef, water, red pepper, salt, spices, garlic, acetic acid, xanthan gum, sodium benzoate as a preservative. Okay, so it sounds like that's gonna be the middle of the road one. So let's start off with lemon pepper. Okay. Okay, so I had to put down the camera for a second to open the bag. So here you go. Peace for you. Ooh. Ooh. Peace for that me. It smells like fresh brisket. It definitely smells citrusy. Here we go. Mm. I got good flavor. It does have a good flavor. I don't know if I taste lemon or it's just a really good citrusy type of flavor right is there's a tartness to it that's nice i actually really like it mm. the pepper really shines through there's a slight sweet note which i'm assuming is the lemon mm -hmm. this is good it's really i like good. the fact that it's not super thick mm -hmm. it's like you know a lot of times you get beef jerky it's really thick and very chewy this is much thinner, but not so thin where it's just like shredded beef. I really like the tartness. I did not think that I would. I, I really like that. The beef and the tart. Okay, next up is Fiesta Forever. Let's see. We didn't dink the last one. We're going to dink this one. There's one for you. And one for me. You can smell Ooh. some meat. Dink. dink. It's get it's like it's growing. Mmm. That is nice. Woo! I just got a overly spicy. But no. Good, a nice little kick. I got some action there. That's good. Okay, last but certainly not least is Hank's place. This this I have a feeling is the blow your face off. Is the blow your face off one? Alright, so Let's you get see. a piece. And I get a piece. Dink it. Dink. Dink. Flavorful. It's tasty. And the fiesta. Hmm. That not, is good. It's not blowing my face off though. It's not hot. Mm mm. But it's flavorful. Very flavorful. I actually think that fiesta was spicier than yeah. Hank's place, but it didn't have so much. Um, like fiesta flavors, I actually would this, probably. I feel like this has the fiesta flavor. I almost feel like I'm eating like a corn salsa with it. I really, really like the Hank's place, and I really like the lemon pepper. Okay, so a for lot. me, I, I was gonna say the lemon pepper was the best until I tried this one. Yeah. I like this one, I like the flavor of this one. They're all good. They're all really good. But if I'm gonna reorder, I'm probably gonna go with this Hank's place one and then the lemon pepper. Yeah. They're really good. We are not affiliated at all. Teresa sent no. us. No. Leave a link for uh, where you can get them through her. They're $8 a bag. I will leave a link for that down below. If you've tried it and you like it, uh, like I said, Bronson said we might be able to do a big bulk order. Right. Uh, I definitely would be into that because these are really, really good. Thanks so much, Teresa. We're home. And we got made. Yeah, we got two pieces of mail. Anthony ran over and picked them up. You got one over there. I do. Can I read it? Uh-huh. All right. So this is coming from Beth Jones. Thank you so much. She says, Rachel, when I saw your love for jewelry, I knew I wanted to send you some of my stock. 
when um, the pandemic hit, I stopped my side hustle and I haven't started back up, but I knew you would appreciate it. Joe, I would have sent you sets as well, but let's be honest, Rachel would have just taken them from you. Totally Probably. true. Thank you both for all you do. You're amazing. We all appreciate you two crazy so very much. Much love, Beth. Thank you so much. Like, I cannot wait to wear these. Look at this gorgeous jewelry. That is really That pretty. is absolutely gorgeous. I'm super excited about this. Thank you so much, Beth. I cannot wait to wear these. Like, very I, cool. I want to get dressed just so I can go someplace and wear this new jewelry. So thank you so much for thinking of me. And the other thing we got is from Brianna. Brianna! Brianna said, Joe and Rachel, I've never done this before, but my love language is random gifts and I just Aww. couldn't help myself. I live in Connecticut, but was spending the weekend in Maine. And while there, I went to the Freiburg Fair, a fair that has been going on for over 170 wow. years. Wow. I was walking around and found an item that just screamed Rachel, but I couldn't leave out Joe, so I thought he could use a new medium shirt. Oh, I can't wait to see. I've been following you for a very long time, only just started commenting now. Your ability to stay keto with no cheat meal truly inspires me. While I've been keto for over three years, my cheat meals have turned into cheat days and weeks. Watching your videos always helps me come back. Brianna. I know this is the lifestyle for me, and after going through open heart surgery this past summer for a heart defect I was born with, I no longer take for granted my physical health. Wow. So I've decided cheat meals are no longer an option. This is a scary prospect, but knowing I have the support of the 2KK family, the WAC family, and the Keto yes. Chat family, I know I can do it. You can do Thank it. Thank you so much for sharing your lives with us. You are a daily support. Uh, without even knowing it. I hope these you enjoy these really silly gifts. I see you online. Oh, I'll Brianna. see you online, Brianna. Oh my gosh, this has to be the thing that screams Rachel. Oh yeah. Yes! Yes, I have needed this for so long. Look at this! It covers everything! Oh my gosh. I feel like gosh. you'll still get it on somehow. Oh my gosh, I love this so stinking much. And it is bacon. Now I have to know what does your shirt say? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Who ate all the pork belly? I ate all the pork belly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so, that is so awesome. awesome. Thank you very Thank much, Thank you Brianna. so much, Brianna and Beth. What, what beautiful things to come home to. Very this nice. is another beautiful thing to come <laughs> home to. So we're gonna eat, honestly, like after the drive and stuff and unpacking, we're not like super hungry. We're a little hungry, yeah. but not like majorly hungry. So we're each having three eggs and a couple of hot dogs. You know very, what? Very, very simple. I'm all about it. Um, these are like, I think they're like the Sabrettes or the Nathans. I don't remember mm. what they're all beef. I remember that much about they them. They got a good snap to them. Yeah. And then uh, the eggs are, I like mine over medium, or over easy. Rachel like hers over well. Very, very well done, sir. There you go. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. At least for you, not yeah, for me. I know. Too overcooked. Sorry. <laughs> So, uh, been a busy couple days. I just finished uploading or editing and then uploading days 37 and 38. Rachel's going to preview it. That'll just come out tomorrow morning. And then this one will come out later on in the day. So with the live stream, tomorrow's a three for a day. So, uh, it's just, it's been a lot. It was a long drive home. And then of course you come home and you've got stuff you got to get done. Tons of laundry. Got to chase down the chickens. Make sure everybody's going night night because the two of the babies don't want to go in their hen house. And I figured they're getting beat up, but we're just going to keep. So long as we put them into the bottom part, they do eventually make their way up. Chick but drama. Always. Of course, the one that's back here who we're not going to mention name. It's like the name that we do not mention. She is not leaving our side. No. She does not trust that we are not going to get in the car and leave again. So yeah. <laughs> she's the shadow now. Overall, it was a good weekend. We got to go bike riding for a while. We got to go to a little type of nature preserve. We had a little bit of fun on the on the uh, paddle boards. I want to say Wave Runner, but I don't have a Wave Runner. I want a Wave Runner, but I don't have one. It's on his brain now. They're too expensive to rent. That's the problem yeah. with this. They used to be able to get wave runners for like brand new for like five grand. Not anymore. And you used nope. to be able to rent them for like thirty dollars. Now it's like over a hundred. Yeah. So <laughs> um, that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. We're gonna pick right back up for these last 
few days tomorrow. We're almost done. No idea what we're going to eat. Um, I'm excited to see where the scale's at. I don't know. I came home feeling a little bloated. I don't know about you. It's probably just all the travel and it throws us off a little bit. It does. And also, like, I am going through regular woman stuff again. Right. So I find that a side effect of that is I feel like I retain water. Right. Like, it's, I mean... You have to take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life, right? Like, there's a lot going on. I'm thankful to to have my cycle going on again, but I have to get used to it. Right. This is very new. And again, that, that comes down to, once again, why the scale, it really is the devil. Especially when it comes to women, because for a woman your weight can fluctuate as much as five pounds in a day. Mm -hmm. You get on the scale at the wrong time, you're going to get disappointed. You get on it in early in the morning at the right time, and you see some magical number you've never seen before. Right. And you're like, yay, I can have a little bit of a cheat day, only to find out like that was some weird number, and the next day it was right back down to normal. It's so true. It's like you're just, you know, you just feel all over the place because, I mean, I... During during this time, I've noticed like all of a sudden I'll get like a random like little pooch and I'm like, wait, where's that from? And then the, by the next morning it's gone. Yeah. It's just really strange. So it's much better, especially as a woman, but for guys too, to be going by measurements and pictures and everything else because just your weight fluctuates too much on the scale, especially for a woman. So, well, that's going to be today's video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time I'm bibbed up and ready to bake in, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.